trouble for Buhari as Bishop Koka tells him, release names of Boko Haram sponsors or else more than you can imagine will be for this issue. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you are not aware, that is the bishop of the um, Catholic, uh, Anglican bishop diocese in Sokoto. Um, you know, just like we have the uh, Emir of Sokoto, we have the, you know, the Emir in Sokoto. This is the bishop, you know, the Catholic, the Anglican bishop, very well known, prominent uh, bishop, well known worldwide. And his words carry weight. He's the one who has also told the world the current state of the way things really are in Nigeria. When asked after Buhari visited UN and gave his speech, and he told, he told them, so see, the country is decayed from within. Sadly, the Buhari's government and administration cannot do very much to him. You see, they can try, but they can't do very much to him. So this is where we are as a nation. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Bishop Koka tells Buhari, release names of Boko Haram sponsors, or else more than you can imagine will come out of this. The Anglican Bishop of Sokoto, the Archbishop of Sokoto Catholic Diocese, Bishop Matthew Kokao, yesterday declared that President Muhammad Buhari's administration is not sincere in dealing with the terrorist killings in Nigeria. Wondering why it is difficult for the government to release the names of sponsors of Boko Haram terrorists in the country, the clergy declared that, the, that Nigeria is decomposing from within and the president owes the people to immediately release the names of those who are funding and sponsoring this wicked activity, taking human life. None has made any life and none has the ability and should take any life at any time. Bishop Koka spoke in a sermon at the princely ordination of five decans at the Holy Family Catholic Church, wondering why President Muhammad Buhari's administration has continuously refused to release the names of those sponsoring these evil activities in the country. His words, Nigeria is a broken country. It is decomposing from within. Our heart is broken and lives are hemorrhaging by the day. We can't go on like this. The country and the people have become so traumatized and lay back by the horrific news they hear every single day. People can no longer continue in this kind of life. If something is not done drastically, the nation is dying out gradually. The number of horrific death, murder, sexual violation, abuse, kidnapping of children, adults has to stop. Sadly, the government of Nigeria is not honest about what is going on right now. This must stop. So that is Bishop Kokal and he has warned Buhari if he does not stop, is going to take the next step. He said if this does not stop, he is going to take the next step as to what will happen. You know, uh, and um, I mean, this is happening. This is going on and everybody, you know, really needs to pay attention as to what is going on right now. Bishop Koka has said all that is going on are clear indications that, you know, things are not just the way they used to be. Everybody is aware, sadly. Everybody knows. What is going on in the country and Buhari's, Buhari's administration continue to demonstrate to Nigerians that they don't care what happens to the people you know the administration continue to show to Nigerians that they don't care whatever happens to Nigerians it is their business they don't care and that's why people must begin to realize for those who go ahead supporting politicians honestly I feel for you young boys and young girls if you are listening to me please Eh? desist from following them. Should I interest you? Let me start from the number one citizen of this country. Mohammed Buhari's son, less than two months ago, got married. He's 25, by the way. Got married to a 20-year-old girl, the, the Emir of Kanu's daughter. Yes, she's 20, studying to become an architect. Yes, guess where both of them are? London, in the UK, Great Britain. 
That's just one. That's Buhari, the president of the country. And you want to tell me he'll be concerned about anything that goes on with the people when his own children are not part of the academic system? Excuse me. You know, so people who are, you are in the country, I know that, I mean, there is hardly nothing you can do about it, but you can do something. Instead of following these politicians that do not mean you well, why not do the right thing? Forget about them. Honestly speaking, think about it. What have you gained by following them? What have you gained by being, you know, following them, uh, you know, to every corner, you are chasing them all around because of peanuts that is being given to you. What have you sincerely and really gained from these people? What have we gained as a nation? So that's where the problem is. And that's why Nigerians must rise up and defend the cause of truth. You know, we must all rise up together and say it as it is. Nobody can stand on the sideline and say it's not my business. No, no, we are in it together. The minute we start, you know, they want to see disunity. The minute we start segregating within ourselves and, tr and throwing it out there that we're not united, then we have really given ourselves over and they will manipulate, oppress and turn the situation upside down. So what do we do? A quick call to stating it out there that things should not continue the way they are. Because if we allow things to continue the way they are, more things are going to get bad, in fact, worse. Yes, they are protecting their own, you know, their own dynasty, doing whatever pleases them, and they are continuing in that light. So everybody has got a duty now to rise up and say no, you know. So this is what is going on, uh, you know. Why they take care of their own children? Guess what? They're already mobilizing people. Take, for instance, look at the governor of um, or your state, Sheyi Makinde, who revealed the people who are against him. You know, plots, you know, 2023, the way they're preparing for presidency, that's the way or your state is also planning for either his second tenor or somebody else comes on ground. And guess what? The plot is really thickening. They want to see him out of the way. Those who want to put, you know, uh, APC there are fighting. Those who, I mean, everybody has their own stake here and there on who they want to succeed or if they want him to continue. So these are part of the things going on. And Nigerians, you and I have got a duty to rise up and do not allow ourselves to be oppressed, used for their own purpose. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.